Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my Elysian trailer reaction. Um, I saw this over the weekend. I've only seen it once, and it was just a really great weekend. My friend was in town, so I'm watching um, it today again and filming my reaction. And so, let's get started. Whoa! Nothing to worry about. You're safe now. Welcome. Your arrival is the most exciting event some of us have ever known. Hey, boy. I don't believe you are. Our surveillance technology is centuries ahead of anything you've known. They've grown up watching you. Nothing creepy about that. That's weird. Tobias Eakins has been assigned to me. Is that Nina? Wow, that's David? The bureau. So that was the um, first official Allegiant trailer. Um, so yeah, so Allegiant. I have mixed feelings about this movie. Okay, so coming from a book to movie adaptation, I did not really enjoy the book. I feel like Divergent and Insurgent were really good and Allegiant. It was just so heartbreaking. I understand why now, but it was heartbreaking. So um, I just, it's been about three years since I've read the book, so I, I'm i just going to judge this trailer solely on a movie-to-movie -movie basis, not on book-to-movie adaptation. Um, okay, so I really liked the fortress moment we got. Um, that's been my favorite part of the book, is their relationship, because it just grows so much, and four treats are as a as an individual and as a and as a person, not as a dependent or as something lesser than he is. He treats her as an equal and supports her and truly loves her for who she is, all of her insecurities and he and she loves him for all of his insecurities and his scars and his weaknesses. And um I just really loved that was like the that was the bright spot for me in Allegiant was their relationship with was uh were their scenes. Um I'm interested to see how they're gonna do the alternating perspectives. I don't really know how you can do dual perspectives in a movie, seeing how the other two have been from Triss's point of view. Um, but I'm still um I'm still intrigued. Um I really thought the bureau looked so cool. It looked really cool. I kind of imagined just like an airport, but I know that's kind of hard to do. Um, so it's easier just to film on green screen than actually find an abandoned airport. Um, so yeah, it still looks cool. Um, I think that was Nina who was teaching, who was giving, th uh, giving Thor, giving Thor a lesson on, um, shooting. I thought that was a funny scene that, um, just Theo plays off really well. He has a really sarcastic dry sense of humor and I definitely showed in that scene. So I hope to see more of that. Um, I really loved how we got to see more of Christina and Peter, um, and uh, Tris, I thought that was really great. And Caleb, 
Um, one thing that I really was missing was Uriah. I just don't understand why they have not included Uriah. Um, in the book, Uriah has a huge part. In the first movie, they said they couldn't find anybody that suited what they were looking for. In the second movie, Uriah had, like, maybe, like, three scenes, if that. And he's a huge part in Insurgent. I know you can't, I know you can't include everything, but to not even have him, like, in those movies, like, for... It's just, I understand why he wasn't shown in the Allegiant trailer because of, like, don't want to spoil it, but, like, he has a rough time in Allegiant. Um, I just, I just feel like that was just a missed opportunity. Um, I loved Keenan Alonzo. I feel like he just was not given enough to do, and it's upsetting. And I wish they would have shown him in the trailer just because there are some scenes you can use for Uriah. He's still a part of Trish's gang and her group. And so... I'm just interested to see where they're going to split this movie off. Um, I just don't know. I feel like in Elysian, which is very, uh, very boring. Like, not a lot really happened. It was more dialogue. That's just, that's just my opinion. I know some people, like, loved Elysian. I give Ronica Roth props for the ending. That was major props. That took a lot of guts. Like, kudos to you for doing that. Um, I just... I just have lots of issues with that. And so I'm interested to see how the movie plays out with it. I'm still excited to see this movie. It's going to be really, really exciting. And um, I hope my faith is restored. I'm giving the director another chance. Um, and Sergeant was a mess. And so I'm giving him another chance to write the scale of good to bad movies. Um, so, yeah, it looks interesting. I don't know. I just, it just, it looks like an okay movie, but it just booked a movie. And then... Movie-wise, it looks like a decent, average movie. But book-to-movie adaptation, it just... I don't know. I just... I need to go back and read it before I judge that. But anyways, so that was my reaction to the Illusion trailer. Let me know what you guys think. It comes out, I believe, March 18th. So right before Star happens. So we have Mockingjay, Allegiant, and then Star. And so that's something to look forward to. Go Going to see that, I guess. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And have a wonderful night, guys. Bye.